Hello everybody, it's Midge Bear. And today I'm actually going to talk about um, the cannons. Um, the Aidens and the Ja-30 of the French. But mainly I'm just going to use the Vigan and F-16 to compare. And talk why about why I like the Aiden and uh, Gaiat guns a lot better than Vulcans. So I'm gonna start off with this. Most people believe the Vulcan is a better uh, machine gun to have on the planes, and it's just superior in war games. Some people think. I don't think that's the case, and I've talked with a lot of people as well, which have good stats in war game if you care about that shit, and they are good players overall. And they all agree with me that the Gaiat and the Aiden 30 is better than the Vulcan. Right? For one simple reason. With the Vulcan, you will have to get a lot of shots on target to be able to kill it. But with the Aiden, you don't. It's, it will be enough with like three shots. And it's more accurate. So I'm gonna give you, just give you a little example here. Example here. Uh, I was in a battle. I was playing Scandinavia mechanized, and uh, we were winning. So the enemy, you know, sent out an air force to try to stop our assault, etc. And we shot out our AA, and I had the uh, vegans circling. One of them was damaged, so uh, I removed it. So I only had one patrolling. And the enemy sent out two PUs. SU-27PU. I know for a fact that both of them were high, highly experienced PUs. Because I've shot down uh, my F-16s before. And some of my other teammates. So I had one vegan and I made two SNS and PUs. So most people would just evac right away when that when they saw that or try to fly over the AA and get away with that. But you know we were winning and I was thought like oh fuck it, I'm just gonna try to get one of them down for the lols. And I knew if I got into a close combat with my vegan, you know, it was already kinda close from the PUs to my vegan. So I thought, alright, I'm gonna engage them for the walls. And I knew if I hit them with my cannon, they will explode instantly. Now I will win if I just get behind them just for a bit. So what happened is my vegan shot uh, all missiles, got one of the PUs, and then it started to uh, be a turning fight with other PU. And um, he got that PU almost instantly. He shot three shots at it. And exploded, and it had full health. And in a cir similar circumstances, however, then it was two F 16s, the Danish F 16 here against PUs. And the uh, F 16, both one F 16 and the other PU shot each other down. So it was just one F 16 and one PU. So I moved in closer to use the guns and sidewinders because Sparrow missiles were out. The sidewinders missed. So my plane, you know, had a turning fight with the PU, and my plane managed to get behind it and shot maybe 50 shots, and it didn't go down. So he understand, right? If this continues somewhat longer, I'm gonna get killed, you know. And I just want to make it clear: he hit a lot of those shots, a lot of them. So he evac, and my plane, my FCC, were still shooting at it as it went away, and it survived with uh, five bars or something left. And uh, then later on, I had uh, another encounter on the same battle, same map against that PU. And I used my VN. Pretty much the same thing happened, except that my, one of my sparrows hit, and one of his missiles hit mine, vegan, my vegan as well. And it turned out into a dogfight again. And uh, the outcome was the first, as the first outcome in the first uh, example I told you. The vegan shot 
two shots and he died. I just gotta say, I just gotta say, you can't just look at the fire rate, all right? You gotta think, you know, you gotta test the planes out and see what worked for you. And uh, I made a, and I think they're having worked for me. And before I made a, you know, Swedish mechanized tech review, and a guy was, um, you know, asking me why I rather had a Vigan than F16. He said that uh, the F16 has better stats and stuff. And I told him, if I remember correctly, the Vigan is better. In my mind, I have better experience with it. It carries more ammunition for the missiles. And the gun cannon is just better, in my opinion. And he was, you know, compare stats, etc. And this is something people do a lot. When they shoot something, they just look at stats, right? And that's fine, you know, it's good that you look on stats. But you also gotta try different shit out, you know, to get an opinion by playing, you know. And a lot of people just think, alright, good stats, then it's screwed, you know. But the thing is, that's not how it works always. And some of the stats are bugged. I'm just gonna go do an example here, alright? Let's see if I can find my deck. Let's see. Uh, yeah, there it is. I don't believe in this in my mind that this is correct. Look on the speed. And look on the cannon. It's the same cannon. The T8 UM has a heavy, better fire rate. I don't understand that. When the T90 or the T70 BU, which is a T90, is newer and have a better auto loading system. But what I've seen is in game, I have the use this. The T90 shoot a lot faster, in my opinion, and it's just better. So, you know, don't always look at stats, always think like, all right, that might be wrong, you know, for logical reasons like this. Let's just do this. Look at T90 here. Uh, T8 U M I mean. And then you look at the T90, you know. I can't I just can't understand how this can be faster, you know. The T90 is uh, pretty much a light tank if you put it that way, compared to T to the T80 UM. The T80 UM is much like the he was a conqueror of the British army. You know, have heavy armor, standing in the back and shoot while the T70, uh, T90s, etc. T, uh, T72s, T64s, etc. Move, moved in, you know, flanked, etc. Uh, so, look at it. So, what my point is, look at the stats, you know, and try it out, you know. Try your decks and 10 versus 10s against bots to see what really is correctly uh, typed in the stats, etc. Try to figure stuff out, stuff out yourself, and yeah, I am. People, will, most people would probably disagree about uh, this whole thing with me. But you know, I played a lot of uh, matches in war game. I played a lot in our battle, and uh, I've had this uh, had these opinions for a long time. And uh, I just wanna get it out there. But uh, before we go, I'm gonna give you a check on the Vulcan and the Raphael again. This is the Gaia 30, the French Raphael machine gun in the Vulcan. I just love it. And I mean, look at this, 30. I can't understand how this have 1000 rounds per minute, even though it's a uh, twin, it shouldn't have much, it's just wrong. Anyway guys, uh, see you next time, have a good time, have fun.